We always love to watch science fiction movies. By building a time machine, we gain the ability to travel to the future and the past. But time is different to physics. In physics, time is a way to measure the progression of events. Physics accept time travel, but not as much as science fiction. So in today's video, we will try to find out, is time travel really possible in our universe? But before I start, if you are new to the channel and love space, definitely subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you. First, let's talk about what we mean by time travel. In movies, we often see characters jumping back and forth in time, but in reality, time travel is a bit more complex. According to physics, time is not just a straight line, it's more like fabric that can be wrapped and stretched. So what does that mean for us? Albert Einstein introduced the idea that time isn't constant, it can speed up or slow down depending on how fast you are moving. This is called time dilation. This is the easier concept to understand and seems possible according to physics. For example, astronauts on the International Space Station is slightly slower than people on Earth because they are moving very fast around the planet, although the effect is tiny. Traveling to the past is trickier and creates lots of problems in theory. One of the biggest issues is the grandfather paradox. If you went back in time and prevented your grandparents from meeting, you wouldn't be born, which means you couldn't have traveled back to change things in the first place. One of the theories that suggests time travel could be possible involves wormholes. A wormhole has two ends, like the entrance and exit of a tunnel. If you enter one side, you would come out the other side instantly. No matter how far apart these two points are, so far, wormholes are just a theory. Scientists haven't found one in space yet. They exist in math and physics equations, but we don't know if they are real or if people could actually travel through them. If wormholes do exist, they might not only connect two distant places in space but also to different times, meaning they could be a kind of time machine. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the paradoxes of the time travel, the grandfather paradox. This is one of the most famous time travel paradoxes. Imagine you go back in time and accidentally stop your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. If they never meet, one of your parents wouldn't be born, which means you wouldn't be born either. But if you were never born, how did you go back in time to stop your grandfather? This creates a loop that doesn't make sense, right? Not just one, but more such paradoxes are there. Next one is the bootstrap paradox. This paradox is about an object or piece of information that exists without ever being created. For example, suppose you travel back in time and give Shakespeare a copy of his famous plays. Shakespeare then publishes those plays and they become famous. But what did the plays actually come from? If Shakespeare got them from you and you got them from Shakespeare, they seem to exist without anyone ever writing them in the first place. This is a paradox where something is pulled out of thin air. You have probably heard of the information paradox. This happens when information is sent back in time and is unclear where the information originally come from. For instance, if a scientist goes back in time and gives themselves the formula for a scientific discovery, who actually discovered it? It's a bit like the bootstrap paradox, but it focuses on ideas, the knowledge rather than objects. So, what do scientists think about all this? While many physicists agree that time is theoretically possible under certain conditions, we are far from making it a reality. The laws of physics as we understand them today don't provide a clear path to time travel. But that doesn't stop researchers from exploring the possibilities. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, particularly his general theory of relativity, is central to the idea of time travel. Quantum mechanics, which deals with the behavior of tiny particles, also has some interesting ideas about time. For instance, in the quantum world, Particles can sometimes seem to move in a strange ways, which might hint at time being more flexible than we think. Some physicists suggest that time travel could be possible in the quantum world, but it wouldn't be practical for humans, just for subatomic particles. While time travel is a fun idea, there are many scientific challenges that make it unlikely to travel through time, especially using something like a wormhole, would require enormous amounts of energy, more than we can currently produce. Time travel could mess with the cause and effect nature of our universe, leading to paradoxes like the grandfather paradox, which create contradictions in logic. Despite lots of theories, there is no experimental evidence that time travel is possible. Every theory still faces big gaps and unanswered questions. 
time travel might be possible under certain conditions, especially when considering Einstein's theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. But it faces huge scientific and practical challenges. Right now, is more of a theoretical concept than a real possibility. And scientists are still exploring what is and is it possible when it comes to manipulating time. So far today, don't forget to tell us how you felt. What do you think about time travel? Is it really possible? I really want to know. Let me know in the comments. What cosmic topic do you want to see next? Thanks a lot for watching the full video. See you in the next video. Stay well.